Welcome back to the Shame Plays, I guess, Let's Play series of the Alpha Test. This is Alpha 2.1, as you see here, of Pathfinder Kingmaker from Alcat Games. Thanks again for inviting me in to this, Alcat. Appreciate it. And uh, as a reminder, this is an alpha, which means that, you know, there's maybe content missing, not all the text is completely in place yet. Maybe some stuff won't work, etc. So keep that in mind. There's also a link you can go to in the video description on YouTube uh, that if you want to know more about uh, Kingmaker, um, they provided a link to click on and, and check all that out. So last video we did, um, <clears throat> pardon me, we did uh, character creation and checked out the game options. And now we're going to get into a little bit of the game. Evidently we're at Oleg's trading post that's the area we're in um there's my main character raceland p gygax chuttleworth the third and i got some stuff glowing down here uh let's see what is this there's my spell book so there's my uh, look at that these are cantrips uh what we got acid splash Where's my first level spells? This looks like my uh, cantrips. Maybe I need to rest to get them? I don't know. I don't have any abilities. And this is my belt. I don't have any usable items, evidently. Uh, deactivate AI. I'm assuming that's for the companions here. We've got harem. Let's see if it's I can... Time to go. I was trying to move the camera. But evidently you cannot, um, it's isometric, not fully 3D. Well, I mean, it's 3D, but evidently you can't rotate the camera, best I could tell. So harem, what is harem? I don't even know what he is. Uh, okay, he is a level one cleric. Good, we like that. I'm a level one magus. I have Amiri, who is a... Level one uh, barbarian. She is an unstoppable warrior. She's blunt and a little crude. And then I have Valeri, who is a level one fighter. So we have a cleric, a fighter, a barbarian, and a magus. We don't have a rogue uh, of anything like that. Spell combat. Right click for more information. I don't know yet. There were people talking about, I think, spell combat on some forums today. Uh, I think that's something that lets you automatically cast while you're fighting. I don't know. Like I said, I'm familiar with D&D &D and I'm familiar with D&D 3.5 or 3 and multiple versions, but I've never actually played Pathfinder. So some of this is going to be a learning experience. So let's see here. Hold selected units, stop, formations, select all characters, spellbook, Here's my spell book. So there's level zero. Mm. <laughs> and there's level one. Oh, that's harem. I'm like, where are my spells at? There we go. So there's level zero. And then there's level one. There's his spells. Okay. I'm not memorizing any. I guess I better do something about that. That's why he doesn't have uh, any any spells in his spell book for first level. Okay, so these are the ones I know, but I can only memorize up to two. So that's basic D&D &D kind of stuff. I thought it was like, man, I'm getting a lot of spells at first level. Um, do I want true strike or shield? I like this true strike. Let's check that out. She can't cast spells. You can't cast spells, but you can cast spells. And you are already... Okay, what do you have here? You've got Bless and Bane. Um, inflict like wounds, cure light wounds. Huh. Now, in a lot of um, meta magic, doesn't have any meta magic right now. Um, in a, in a lot of D and D versions or whatever, you can convert, um, 
like a level one spell into cure light wounds or a level two spell into cure moderate wounds or whatever. So maybe, maybe it's the same here, but uh, we'll go with what they've already got memorized. I wonder if I can camp to try to learn my spells. That would be kind of nice. Um, what else we got here? We have the old journal. Most evil rival. Somewhere in the stolen lands, the gnome torcerer Tarturicchio is wondering. The rival of our leader for the Baron's coronet. Hmm. He's cunning, dangerous, and definitely preparing some nastiness for us. This way or, or another, we must defeat him. So find Tartuccio. Tartuccio. Both our daring wrestling, wrestling P. Gygax, Shuttle with the Third, and the Insider Sorcerer Tartuccio receive from Chamandi Eldori a special task and a chance to get their own barony. Okay. And the Stolen Lands. Go to the trading post. Okay. Uh, we got to get information about bandits at the trading per. Um, Trading post of a certain Oleg Leviton. Here's the encyclopedia. Nothing's here. So I can only look at my quest right now, evidently. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to... Well, first I'm going to save. Just to check the old save system. Uh, so we'll save game. We'll save over that one. Yes. And then also I want to look... Uh, I think... Quick save is F5 and quick load is F9. That's usually, or that's a, yeah, no, F8 is quick load and F5 is quick save. So I keep wanting to click and drag and, and move the, uh, the camera rotation around. So uh, weapon sets, let's see, what weapon sets do you have? Nothing. Uh, what is this? She's got a something. Yeah, everything's not filled in yet. Adventures await. Where's your inventory? Hmm. <laughs> no biography yet. Abilities. Inventory. Here we go. Hello, inventory. Up. Oh. We're waiting. There we go. So, what does he have? He's got a rapier. And his, what's she got going? She's got a large bastard sword. She's got a masswork bastard sword and a shield. And he's got a good old heavy mace, which is classic for a... Uh, cleric and then there's a shared stash here which is nice we got a couple of torches and some camping supplies and rations so i'm guessing we have eight camping supplies and rations so we can camp eight times i'm guessing i don't know uh, oh okay let's let's try to camp press r to open i guess i can't rest here Hmm, okay. I tried. What is this? Stealth. We're trying to stealth. All right. Okay. Pretty standard stuff so far. So there's my barbarian. Save yourselves, fools! Will he talk to me? No, he's not going to talk to me. Okay, so that's me. That's my fighter, that's my barbarian, and my cleric. So, well, that doesn't bode well. Save, save yourselves. I'm on the top. i got to go check out the whole map. Yeah. M for map. Pretty standard. Uh, tab for reveal all items. Again, pretty standard. Save yourselves, you fools! So, the bandits being a jerk, uh, we demand this week's taxes and some beer. Uh, so, there's Oleg, there's some of the character portraits aren't in. Remember, this is an alpha. And where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us dinner. 
great. Uh, Kressel, quite down, dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money and we'll be on our way. Oleg, oh, so here we go with some uh, options. Okay, you want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts, blah, 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 blah. So Oleg's talking smack back. Uh, but then he notices us and he says, Ah, oh, you must be guests from Restov, because Restov's actually sent us, if I remember right. So you can say, what's going on here? And I'm not going to go through every dialogue option every time, but until we get used to the game. Um, so I can attack immediately, or I can ask what's going on here. Uh, or I can take a, a neutral good option and say, I'm not interested in bloodshed, but I won't let you rob this man. So I, I think normally I'd be like, hey, don't rob this guy, but... I'd kind of like to get into a fight just to check the game out, but I'm going to say what's going on here. Alexis and his obvious. They're robbing us. Um, I didn't swear allegiance to stag lords. Uh, one of the uh, bandits is like, but Restov is so far away. Stag lord is so close, etc., etc. Threats. Um, Valeri, who is one of my party members, says our duty is to protect the trading post. So, uh, now, if I was evil, evidently, I would have another alignment option here. So that's interesting. Not, not only does the certain dialogue options uh, take you a certain alignment, evidently, or require certain, or, or could maybe push you towards an alignment, but in this case, you actually have to have a certain evil alignment to even have a certain dialogue option. Ah, uh, but I say, yeah, there's no need for words. Two arms. Okay, retreat. We're too few for a fight. Let's call for help from the camp. Okay, I should have gone neutral good then. No way, it just means we could rob a few idiots instead. Okay, so we are going to fight. Okay. These fools just don't know whom they are dealing with. Now let's see how this works. Okay, I don't see an initiative order, so I, I don't quite know... Okay, so Harum got an initiative check 19. Valeri, I'm looking over here in the in the uh, com in the dialogue in combat. So you can go all events combat or just dialogue. I'm going to go on combat. Um, so the bandits. Uh, I'm assuming higher is better initiative, um, just like regular D and D. Or do you, it's interesting that it's not saying, oh, okay, I'm Arigo, Valerigo, so maybe you choose your actions and then the initiative, and then everything executes? I don't know. Let's see what he can do. Um, so I got a bandit, I got a bandit, I got a bandit. What else do I have up here? So I just have three bandits. Um, Cast a spell just to see how this works. Uh, touch of fatigue. Okay, I'll try to fatigue somebody. Uh, looks like a lot of my guys are already attacking him, I guess. I don't know. Okay, you throw a touch of fatigue on him. And then... Well, maybe, is it real time a pause? So, uh, since it's not turn-based, I mean, initiative still kind of uh, matters on who goes when, but it's it's real time a pause, so I don't know. Let's see what feats she has, or abilities. She's got charge, rage. Um, yeah, why don't you rage? I think I think you should rage. Yeah, why don't you rage? I like that. And then you, uh, let's see, you can charge or you can fight. Nope, you're going to charge on this guy. And then you heal the living. Let's see, charge, damage undead, touch of chaos. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Destructive smite. Okay, let's check out his spells. Yeah, see, he needs to rest too so he can get his first level spells. Or I guess he's got more he can learn. I don't know. So can you convert? In other games, you like shift or alt or 
control and it'll let you convert to um, healing, but I guess not. Let's see what this is. Bane. All enemies within 30 feet burst. Uh, they get fear and doubt. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Unpause. Is anything happening? I can't tell. Okay. Uh, Olog attacked a bandit with light crossbow. Did a critical hit. Olog did a Mary. Yeah, did 21. 21 damage at first level. Wow. So, yeah, that, that bandit's already burst into chunks. Okay, so he threw his spell. Um... Okay, so uh, since I attacked with a rapier, I think maybe the reason I did that was because I was going to cast a spell on that guy and he died. So I guess I defaulted to rapier and then Harem did cast Bane and now Valeria is charging just like I asked them to. So, okay. So the initiative kind of plays into it, but it is real time of pause. Uh, you know, that's not my favorite, but we'll see. I, I prefer turn-based because D and D and Pathfinder and all that is the, the it's turn-based tactical combat. But we'll see. Uh, you know, I, I I can enjoy a game with real timer pause, but it's not my favorite. Anyway, let's play this out. These dudes are going down. Okay, so these guys. I can't tell if they're just waiting to attack. They seem to be, maybe it's their initiative, waiting for their initiative order to come up. Let's see what happens. Nope, they're all dead. So, or all the bad guys are dead. So I don't even think I took any damage here. Okay, I get some treasure. Uh, what do I get? Leather armor and a short sword. Okay, collect all. Uh, so let's take a look. Any other, any other treasure? Let's go take a look here. Let me select everybody. Move them over here. Okay. Let me get my barbarian to do the heavy lifting. Okay, collect all. And it the game feels smooth. The animations and the artwork. Man, me. I keep wanting to rotate the camera. Um Okay. Let's take a look at inventory again. Uh, so she's already wearing hide armor, which is a four armor base. Let's see what that is. Two armor base, or two armor class, two. Okay, so the hide's better. Let's see what he's got on. And they're starting with some pretty good stuff. Four armor class, or three armor class. This is two, all right. They start, they're starting all right. Seven armor class right out the gate. It's kind of crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. All right. Maybe that's Pathfinder. I don't, I don't know. All right, let's go talk to Oleg. I need to concentrate. A distracted mage risks to become a dismembered one. All right, Oleg's like, take that, you scoundrels, etc. Um, the girl got away a plague on her, I guess. One of the bandits was a... There's a woman. She's starting to complain to the stag lord. If only I could sp send Svetlana somewhere safe and show those rats what's what. Okay, so the stag lord people are going to come. Uh, he notices a fair haired woman approach. Dove, why are you here? I told you to stay hidden. Hello, Dove. Uh, Svetlana, it's all over. I saw it. I just needed to be sure you were all right. Um, okay, so they're married. That's her husband. My name is Svetlana. I'm sorry you arrived at our trading post turned so unwelcome. Um, so I'm prepared. So we could wait for the attack. We could say prepare for the attack. Get in your positions and wait. Um, uh, you know, again, this is an alpha. It's kind of a test, kind of showing the game. I, don't, I, I may not play it like I would if I was playing it, you know, all the way through for my own personal choices. Uh, but I do want to, um, who are they and when will they arrive? But I'm not going to go through like every possible dialogue option. Who are they? There's the Staglords gang. That's who. 
Um, so, I, interesting, I can go with a lawful good or a neutral evil response. Uh, you have nothing to fear. I'll help you deal with the attack. Or neutral evil. The safety of your post may have been one of the conditions Jumande army placed on granting me barony over the stolen lands, but she said nothing about having to listen to your whining. Uh, okay, tell me as much as you know. How many are there? Uh, okay, so he's not telling me. Uh, sometimes it's... Oh, sometimes only five, sometimes a whole gang. Okay. I'd have shown them what for long ago, if not for Svetlana. Okay, um, you have nothing to fear, I'll help you deal with attack, alright? I made a lawful good action. Well, I appreciate your good intentions. Um, if you help me to defend the post, I'll reward you proper. Now, we have to hide Svetlana, please don't argue. There are some pretty solid traps around, some tar and a box of alchemist fire, it looks like. Uh, Alchemist fire. We can put it by the gate, light it off with a burning arrow when those bandits are nearby. I like it. Let's do that. But that could set the post on fire, Olog shouts. Well, maybe we cover the walls with something to protect them. Yeah, I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. Da -da -da. Uh, we'll look around, think on the best way to use the tar and traps. I want to answer more questions because I want to look at your wares. Uh, enough about the bandits for now. Earlier, yeah, it says I'd like to see your goods. All right, let's check it out. Don't know what good trading will serve. Those bloodsuckers come, but all right, take a look. Ah, here we go. So here is the trading, buying, selling system. What do I have to offer? I can sell a short sword. All right, he's going to give me 18 gold for that. I'll sell him another short sword. He'll give me 36 gold. Another one. Ah, it just keeps going. I'll give him all this. Now, can I... Yep, I can take it back. Or I can add it again. It does... Oh, did I buy it back? And then... Wait a minute. What's happening here? That's weird. Okay, so it looks like the swords are worth quite a bit. The leather armor is not worth that much. Okay, so that's what's happening. Uh, what is this? Guess I got freed up six pounds by getting rid of that. All right, I have 411 gold. What do you have on you? Well, you got you got scrolls, pal. Got a scroll of magic missiles, scroll of shield, and a scroll of expeditious retreat. That's cool. What is your? It's worth 2,400 gold pieces. That her sword. It's worth 400. And okay. And he has a scroll of cure light wounds and inflict light wounds. Wow, a cleric doing both, huh? Okay. Um, what do you? You have some armor here. Ring of Protection, that would be 2,000. Um, what is this? Just other. Okay, what are, you, what are you using? Just a rapier? No, I don't want to. What happened to my rapier? Oh, I guess I went back here. Uh, let's see if I can get him something better. work falchion uh falchion what is this this is a rapier proficiency group i can't remember what all i'm uh proficient in 400 one through six damage but it just this is the master where it gives it a better chance for critical hits no no it doesn't um hmm one through six damage two feet I forget what a master. It's just masterwork. Okay. Um, I forget what masterwork does. Maybe it's plus one to hit or something. Okay. Um, yeah, let's sell this stuff. Deal. What else do you have in here? Full plate mail. 
Oh, it's scimitar plus one. Light mace plus one. He's got some magic stuff. And as you see here, if it ma it's magic, it glows, so it kind of sticks out. That's nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, are we leveling up? Already? Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Man, I can't remember what your proficiencies are, pal. Let me take a look at my guy's proficiencies. Uh, abilities, light armor, simple weapon proficiency, and martial weapons. Okay, so I could, I don't have to use a rapier. That's just what I have right now. Okay, let's take a look at leveling up. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll do mages level two. So he's going to get those hit points, and he'll also get spell strike. At second level, whenever a mage is cast a spell within a range of touch from the mage's spell list, he can deliver the spell through any weapon he is wielding as part of a melee attack. So that's pretty cool. Um, next. Okay, so he's... We get two more skill points. I like perception. Ooh, that's just... He's not getting much out of that, is he? Yeah, give him some athletics. Now he's up to five. And, hmm. and use magic device five. Sure, why not? Uh, two spells. Do I get... Uh, so I get two more spells. Is this what this is telling me? I get all my cran cantrips no matter what. Um, let's take Vanish and... Uh, I've got enlarge. Let's take reduce. Okay. Complete. Wow, man. We're leveling up quick here. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to multi-class. We'll keep her as a barbarian. So she gets those hit points. Rage powers. She learns to use her rage in new ways. Starting a second level, she gets a range power. A rage power. Okay. I guess it'll let me pick that out here in a second. And then Uncanny Dodge, um, which is nice. Okay, next. Skills. What have you already got there, kiddo? Now let's take some more nat nature lore. That makes sense. Uh, mobility. I don't like that negative two. I'd kind of like to bump that up. Let's get her athletics up. I like that. Choose abilities. Here's a rage power. Animal fury. She gets a bite attack while raging. Swift foot. 10 foot enhancement bonus for base speed. And that stacks. Renewed vigor. Standard action. The barbarian, barbarian heals 1d8 points of damage plus 4 constitution modifier. That's pretty nice. Regenerative stance. Uh, huh. Reckless stance. Beast totem. While raging, the barbarian gains plus one natural armor bonus. It's pretty cool, but I'm going to take renewed vigor. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. All right, let's check out our warrior. She'll stay as a fighter. I'm not interested in multiclassing right now. So she's going to get a bonus combat feat. Uh, she'll get those hit points. And bravery. Starting a second level, a fighter gains plus one bonus on will saves against fear. Pretty nice. All right. Uh, she gets some skill points here. So, oh, athletics negative ten. I guess that's because of all these, uh, all the armor she's wearing or something. But I, it's not good. 
Uh, she's okay on persuasion at two already. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can get that mobility up. No, that's not really helping. Yeah, she's just not doing so hot. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll get her pers do her persuasion. Uh, next, uh, she gets a bonus combat feat. And boy, she's already got a lot of stuff, I'm thinking. Let's see what... Uh, power attack, that's always fun. Uh, can we get toughness? Is that a... Well, that, can I take that as a combat feat? Probably not. Yeah, I'm going to take power attack. That's one of my favorites. And now the cleric. He just gets his uh, favorite class bonus hit points. Probably will let he can do something with his spells, I would imagine. Uh, Alice skill points. Uh, yeah, let's keep taking his religious lore up. Wow, he didn't even get spells, did he? Yeah, he does get another spell. Okay, you got your cantrips. So right now you got Bless, Bane. Summon Monster is always one of my favorites. What's Divine Favor? Strength to Wisdom of the Deity, you gain plus one luck bonus. Yeah, I just don't know. Just did a pause video and did a quick look online for Pathfinder. Evidently, you can convert non-domain spells um, into uh, cure spells, but I just I don't know what the hotkey is here. Let's see if we can maybe find that. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Man, summon monsters so nice. That's just too handy. I got to take it. Okay, rest to restore. I sure would love to rest. Ah, uh, what is what is meta magic? I don't understand what meta magic is. Spell book. What what just happened here? You can't memorize spells from the favorite second. Okay, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what what the heck. Uh, oh, meta, this is meta, meta, duh. All right, I, I don't know. Um, okay. Okay, so the video has suddenly jumped. I uh, had to cut out about five minutes of it. Didn't miss much. Uh, you know, everybody leveled up. And, you know, I made sure that the tar and the traps and all that stuff is set. Um, and then I, I talked to this guy up here. Bakken, who's an alchemist, and I said, hey, help us fight, and he basically gave us a healing potion. That's really all you missed. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, we've got the tar, we've got traps. Um, I don't know what is... Th Actually, I'm not... What is that? I'm not sure what that is. Can I run through the tar? Whoop! Run in slow! An empty tar pot. Okay, that makes sense. So... Oh, and now I've, I've got the slow effect on me. I wonder how long that'll last. Six more, five seconds. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, I guess, kick off this fight. But yeah, I had a weird crash with both the game and my recording software. So, and my recording software has never crashed like that before. So maybe it's related to the alpha. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It seemed a bit right when I tried to pause uh, my recording software, everything went to heck. But anyway, all right, so let's talk to Oleg. Um, what can you tell me about the man who ran away from the post and came back? Yeah, uh, talking about Boken. All right, so I guess I can't get him to get her to safety. 
I was hoping that he would, but uh, let's. I'm prepared for the attack. In your positions, await. Fear not. I'll stand between you and the scum. So that's Valeri, my warrior or fighter. Amiri, my barbarian, says finally a fight. And Oleg says, I see you're not easily cowed. Svetlana says, I beg you, be careful. And please, don't let Oleg do anything too risky. If you hear in the background, I had an air conditioner running and turned it off. Yes, even in winter, my office gets warm. So, And it's like super cold outside. I beg you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Svetlana, go hide inside. Okay. What shall happen? I'm afraid to pause my recording because that's what everything went to heck last time. Yep, here we go. Something's loading. Sure, why not? Okay, so here we go that basically uh, I had it paused during a rather long load and uh, yeah, yeah. So they showed up. It's nighttime, and you know these idiots have stepped into a bunch of the traps, a bunch of bandits, and looks like Oleg has shot the flaming arrow into the uh, the alchemist fire. So this should be fun. Now I don't want to get my own people caught in the alchemist fire, but it looks like uh, how did everybody's initiative? goes here. Amira got a 9. Valeria got an 11. I got a 17. Uh, Bandit got a 17. Looks like I might be one of the first people to go. But I haven't been able to rest, so I can't... Oh! I guess it allowed me to rest, so now suddenly I have spells, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, disrupt Undead days i've i've got to throw magic missile just because it's my favorite uh, who is this is this guy dead i'm not getting any reading off of him let me see tab uh bandit 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 uh this guy here has all of his hit points so i'm going to cast Magic Missile on him. Just because I love Magic Missile so much. I have to throw it. Okay, you're gonna... That's a... She's in a permanent rage. Renewed Vigor. Fighting defensively. Charge. Yeah, I'm gonna have her charge in and... Get this guy. Rip him off! Yeah, get them all. Yeah, she's got power attack on. I'm going to have her run up and hit the guy that I'm doing the magic missile. And then you, sir, are going to throw... What? Summon monster. I love summon monsters so much. We're doing summon... Is that as far out as I can throw it? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to unpause, or at least try to. Up oh, there goes my magic missile. Uh, it only did two damage. That's sad, but I guess it's automatic hit, so that's at least nice. I don't know. Did his summon monster cast? I'm not sure. Did your summon monster cast? I don't think it did. What am I getting? What kind of monster am I gonna get? I didn't get anything. There it goes. What did I get? I got a pony. A pony. What in the world? Okay, we gotta we gotta do something about this. Haps Biden. Who's that? Uh, these guys are going pretty quick. I want to cast True Strike. I think that's pretty sweet. I want to cast True Strike. <laughs> Dang, man, they're killing him. Okay, I threw True Strike. I'm going to run over here and attack him. So I'll get that that nice 
That initiative bonus. So I'm running through the tars. Oh, he's dead. He's dead before I could get there. Who's this? Look at me, Gorum! Ah, protect the trading post. Done. Now I get to get some rest. Okay. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it is real time with pause, but I like it how it shows you the initiative and everything to give you an idea of who's going to go in. Man, there's a bunch of dead bandits. That's crazy. All right. Studded leather. Yeah, I'll sell that. Composite longbow. Yeah. All right. What all do we have here? Ooh, a cloak of resistance. Nice. And I guess I'll get all this stuff and just sell it. And that's what you're supposed to do at the beginning of a computer RPG is just loot and sell like a madman. I'm going to be selling to Oleg like crazy. All right, Oleg, I've defended your trading post. Now let me get some rest. I wonder when I get encumbered. Oh, what's this? Treasure? Oh, what is that? A club. Hey, that's big stuff. It's time to go. Like I said, at least we're not fighting rats. There's Oleg. Anything else out here? Did I miss anything? Tab. Tab. No. Nobody really got hurt. You rats got what? Now he's calling them rats. I just said that we didn't have to fight rats, but those rats got what they deserved. We should call Bokit out before he freezes in those <laughs> things. Now, my lord, head on up to the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. Okay, I got 100 gold coins. Or coins. All right. I also want to sell. Let me sell a leg. We'll talk tomorrow. Okay. So let me go in here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Are we encumbered? I feel like we're encumbered because everyone's running slow. Okay, I'm supposed to go up to the second floor and rest. We'll do all that on the next video. So there's a couple of combats, a couple of level ups, a little better idea of how, they, how the game works. So far, I mean, especially for an alpha, it seems very smooth. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, definitely feels, and even though I know it's Pathfinder, it feels like D&D. Pathfinder is a fork of D&D, so... Anyway, or D&D 3.5, so it's like D&D 3.75. All right, so we'll catch you next time on this uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker Alpha Test. Uh, like I said, we're 2.1 here. This is an alpha. Keep that in mind. Uh, and there's a link in the video notes if you want to learn more about uh, Pathfinder that uh, Alcad Games provided. Thanks so much for watching, and we will catch you next time on Chain Plays.